All right, let's get this uh, fucking episode seven of Tea Party over with, because because uh, the last time where I where I left off, uh, it was really it was extremely difficult to bear through because uh, so far both Jessica and George got killed off, and the rest of them got killed, and then the rest of them got killed off by uh, Kiri. But you know, I could have used the argument of you know. The lesser of the four evils when it comes to the the four mothers within the Ushiromiya family. <laughs> so, but you know, look, all of the four are worse, but if anything, Kiri is arguably, you know, the worst of the way worse the way worse of the fourth of the four. So Yeah. It's uh, no wonder uh, it's no wonder um, Eva didn't, you know, spill the information to Angie. But apparently Angie thinks it's like all of it is just no it's just ain't true, so we'll see. When Leon yelled this, the theater suddenly went pitch black, swallowed in darkness. However, that wasn't enough to shock Leon. Leon continued to yell Burn Castle's name into the darkness, telling the witch to stop his game. Then, a single beam of light shone down upon the stage. There was Claire, the one who had appeared for just a second right before this cruel game began. <laughs> Claire didn't answer. In fact, it looked as though she hadn't even heard. Her eyes were blank and you couldn't tell what she was looking at. In fact, she was even forgetting to blink. She looked just like a doll. Then, another beam of light lit up the side of the stage. Beneath the light stood Burn Castle. At the same moment, though there appeared to be no one in the audience, a thunderous applause rang out. <laughs> Burn Castle raised her right hand in response to the applause. She kept doing so until it died down. <laughs> she kept doing so until it died down. <laughs> Leon, you know, look on your face looks like it is, but go figure. So you're telling me that the ending of episode 7 was nothing more than a facade. When Burn Castle raised her right hand, a light fell on it. And a black shining scythe appeared there. Huh. Interesting. It was a cold, merciless, and cruel object, like something a classic Grim Reaper might hold. What? 
感激の魔女というもの So you're just gonna, you're just gonna, so Claire is just a corpse. You just, you know, straight up just revive the corpse just to、uh, kill her again. Burn Castle pressed the blade of her Reaper scythe against Claire's stomach and slowly slid it across. Then, across, then along the line she traced, Claire's dress was sliced open. It was now clear that the scythe she held. Was not a fake one for theoretical use, and it was clear just what she planned. And it was clear that just what she planned to do next, next that made her cruel smile so fitting. Excuse me. It's fucking allergies. Tanoshi?Eh,Tanoshi,Deshone.Tanoshi,Deshone.Tanoshi,Deshone.Tanoshi,Deshone.Tanoshi,Deshone.Tanoshi,Deshone.Tanoshi,Deshone.Tanosh
they're not good human beings. I mean, human beings have flaws, you know, but which is why, you know, if they act like they're perfect, you know, gotta point out their flaws. No, I don't recall. I don't really recall uh, Angie making a second wish, unless I have to go back in the previous episodes. What happened on Rokunjima on October fourth and fifth, nineteen eighty-six? Then Angie leave on a journey with Amakusa because she longed to answer that question. So that was it. 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 That's the wrong question. There is no game master, and that can mean only one thing. Angie, mada wakaranai no. Nani ga yo? Kore ga shinjitsu na no. 1986年10月4日からの2日間の猫箱の中身よ。この後エヴァは。クワドリアンで爆発を逃れて生き残るよ。そして猫箱の中身を欲するあなたに最後の瞬間まで沈黙を貫くことでこの真実を永遠に猫箱に閉ざして。Wow, no fucking the whole truth of you know Kiri you know killing off almost everyone and Rudolph killing George and Who fucking knows if Balor got killed off by fucking Eva? No fucking way. That led up to within episode four. <laughs> no one. Oh my god. Eva, one person is able to survive. Even if the police are wrong, the people are not able to survive. And then. なき夫に代わり会社を切り盛りしようと張り切れば張り切るほどに敵を作る彼女が壮大な陰謀の女王であるかのようなイメージを作り上げていた彼女は真実を語りたかったでしょうが語ったとて証拠もなく誰も信じ
And until the moment of her death, she protected it. She protected the lock that held the cat box shut. So, no human would ever reach the truth inside the cat box. Not unless those witches who crossed the Sea of Fragments opened the lock. What do you mean it's the truth? Are you telling me this is this was the cat box? Reading through the entire thing was the fucking cat box all this long? Angie wrist was such strength that the chains on her arms and legs looked like they might snap. All over her body, a red gooey liquid started to seep out. It was so it was as though cracks had opened up all over her and blood was leaking out of her out of all of them. Alright, hit me with it. <laughs> the moment it, the moment she tried to say it's in red, she's like, no. I mean, you asked for the, you asked for it in red, so like that's what she, that's what happened. Angie's yell covered up Burns' red truth. あなたはそう言うわよね。分かってたわ。もちろん。そして、その絶叫に歪む顔が見たかった。A hundred years of laughing? That's good for you. Whatever helps you helps you make you pay your bills. Oh wait, you don't even have you don't even have the bills. You're a fucking witch. I don't know, man. It's up to them. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. She now been melted. Angie's body melted like it's fucking acid. As Angie held her head and screamed, the blood dripping from her finally grew so thick that it started scattering all over the place. Then, bit by bit, her body began to melt. No. To fall apart. Then, bits of her began to pile up on the chair until she was nothing but a pile of guts and scraps. Shit. Tragic. Nah, I don't know. Either the truth is so sacred, but the, or that the truth is like sacred enough that it's used as a weapon to like get off get off on other people's suffering. 
どうして人間は真実を自在にできないのかしらバカみたいにそれだけを追い求めそして目の当たりにして耐えられず自らクズ肉となり果てる I'm pretty sure I'd be melted into fucking pieces by now if I even be like, oh, no fucking way, bro, no! Uh. メッセージボトルに封じるつもりで猫箱の物語をいくつも書いていたそれをあなたは海に投じたわこの真実を知ったら苦しむだろうものを救うためにねあなたが猫箱で閉ざしエヴァがそれを錠前で閉じた<笑
屋敷の Burn Castle snapped her fingers, and the scene of the mansion's parlor unfolded before them. In the cruel tale they had just been shown, the parlor hadn't been particularly important. Jessica had been summoned to the parlor, but she was then immediately led to the dining hall and killed there. So there hadn't been anything to see in the parlor, and in fact, there was nothing to see in the parlor now, appearing before Leon. <laughs> Yeah, this is just some empty parlor. <laughs> I mean, if, if you're going to show me like an empty parlor, isn't that kind of like a pointless waste of time? Well, it, yeah, it's nothing. Are you going to show me some fucking plot twist? <laughs> Let me guess. Is there like a dead. Is this just an empty parlor but a dead body? Fern Castle was pointing at nothing more than a corner of the room. There was nothing there. She had told Leon to look there, so the latter was expecting something horrible to be there. But there really was nothing there at all. Not in this world, but what? Are you going to tell me there's something happened in the alternate world? Wow, are you kidding me? So the alternate world, but... So in this world, the parlor's empty, but the alternate, now there's blood. On the white blank wall, bit by bit, a splash of blood seeped into view. Then, right there, a corpse appeared, but that couldn't be. It was Leon, lying dead against the wall. Ushiro Mia Lion's corpse lay there exposed. Yeah, since when did Leon ever got killed there? え、そう。だから今世界を駆け落ちたの。あなたの世界にね。意味がわかりません。つまりはこういうことよ。同じ末路をたどるということよ。You just swear this is a this is this is a switcheroo stun lock if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it either. Well, yeah. That was the point, right? The funeral was held before the conference. Are you telling me Le Leon was a victim during the conference within her that al alternate world? その晩までの間に何があるかしら何もありません。いとこたちと楽しく過ごし、親族一同で晩餐を過ごし。そして
夜には親族会議だわあなたは二十歳になったら当主を継承するのだったわねそれは親族たちの間でも円満に決まってることなのかしらあめ That wouldn't be surprising if、uh, one of the family members tur turned against Leon. Turn against the person. そういうことよ金蔵があなたを目に入れても痛くないほどに可愛がり特例的に当主の座をあなたに直接継承しようとしているそのことを親族兄弟たちが面白く思っているわけもないシブリングスは絶対に having... Leon succeed the headship. Even Kraus joined in, saying that Leon was still too young. Then, on the night of the family conference, Kinzo tried proposing a difficult riddle. Oh shit, I skipped it. Oh boy. Le Haido no Shikake o Mireba Wakar Tori. Kinzo wa Hibun no Shikake o Rok Kenjima ni Yashiki o Kizuita so no Tosho kara Kangai ti ita wa. Itska, Jiki Tosho o Ela bu Shiren ni Tskaeru ka mo Shirenai nante Romantic na koto o Kangai na 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 na. Kinzo decided to present that riddle at the family conference. Did he plan to give this position of successor to the person who solved it? Or did he promise to reconsider Leon's position as the successor if it was solved? Either way, Kinzo was confident. He was confident that no one would be able to solve this tough riddle, which he had created himself. <laughs> あっさりと兄弟たちに書かれ黄金の山をめぐって人の一族 That's weird Because I thought in episode 7 Like there is no such thing as the epitaph riddle Or the riddle A wordplay riddle But you, you're trying to tell me like It was just That is also a facade And you know There are also Behind the scenes of the Ushiramiya family That are objects, ob objects against, you know, Leon being the future successor. So, the Kirie to Rudolph was, Yokuasa no Jiken Hakakto, so then it was a Sawagi of Mizen in Fusegutame, Shinya in Satsujin of Kekko Sir. Itokobea in Atsumate in Kodomotachi. 一人ずつ電話で呼び出して殺したわいとこの筆頭のあなたは一番最初に呼び出されたそして客まで切り絵に打たれて殺されたわうん違うわねあなたは1986年10月4日の夕方の後ろにやりよんだものねだからこういうわあなたは今日の深夜に客まで切り絵に打たれて殺されるのよそんなバカなそれはそうだ確率だクレルからリオンという奇跡が低い確率で生まれるようにキリエおばさんがそのような強行に及ぶのだって
限りなくゼロに近いわずかの確率に違いないあなたはそのわずかの確率の世界を見つけることができる魔女ではありませんかいかにもその通りよ The probability to zero. 奇跡の存在を見つけ出すために257万8917の中のたった一つのかけらを見つけ出してきた One out of two million five hundred seventy thousand nine hundred seventeen in order to discover which is Leon. If、you're saying probability isn't a factor, that's it, just sounds like you know, oh, I just go through, I can go through like a search result within a fragment. そして257万8917分の1の確率で後ろ宮リオンとして生き今夜切り絵に殺されるのつまりあなたのいいえあなたたちの運命は257万8917分の257万8917の確率で<笑> So in other words guaranteed いかなる奇跡も許さない絶対の運命で逃れえぬ袋小路に運命の牢獄にとらわれているということなのよ<笑>残念だったわねクレルいいベアトリーチとざされた逃げえぬ絶対の2日間に閉じ込められたあなたはその2日間の猫箱の中で無限を生み出せる魔女となったわ絶対に救われない報われないことと引き換えのねしかしあなたは夢を見たわそれが後ろにはリオンという夢自分がクレルとならずに住み幸せに暮らせていたかもしれない奇跡の世界を夢見て自らを慰めていたリオンを見つけるのは本当に苦労したわよその存在はベアトが夢見た通り本当に奇跡だったんだからそして葬儀の最後に見せつけてやりたかったのよその奇跡をもってしてもあんたは惨劇を逃れられやしないってね<笑> Through the small crack between the bars of the jail that imprisoned her the witch called Beatrice dreamed of the world where she might have been happy However, the space she could see through that crack in the bars was just another part of the same jail over and over again. I'm not a person who's 
ますますにわからないあなたはなぜこんなことをするのですかベアトにゲームで負けたから腹いせで。少しは負けたムカつきも晴れてきたわねえベアト見てる見えてるそして覚えてるあなたには絶対に奇跡は起きないって私約束したわよねの魔女たちはだるい一家団らのシーンはもう触傷気味だそうよだからあなたが切り絵に打たれる直前の瞬間へ送ってあげる。そしてその瞬間をベアトに見せつけてあげる<笑> I don't know what's worse. Being. You, you feeling good ab about winning because of being of some petty grudge against Beatrice? Or the fact that Kiri is of being a serial murderer? <laughs> Burn Castle raised her Reaper Scythe, swung it down with gusto, and plunged it deep into Claire's stomach. She took the blade and the scythe and heartlessly, ruthlessly, brutally raised it up into the air. Along a vertical line from Claire's stomach to her chest, the blade cut deeply, slicing Claire open. The red black insides jutted out and burst like a dam breaking. Covering the world with dark red entrails. That's. Italian in the Ogon Ubaldo, Shumoe, Usumio, Sama Soredemo Gunjika. This is some insane shit. Tosama no Koto, Kei, Tash Torimus. So Claire, Icky, the person that, you know, that was supposed to die from a cliff. 
she apparently she survived by a very slim chance, but unfortunately, it seems it lives on a very extreme tra tragic notion where her body, you know, had a negative self of reflection to where she could, to where she could not feel love. When I came to, I was in the parlor of the mansion. When did I get here? I heard a sound behind me, then slowly turned around, and there... Oh no, we're gonna, we're gonna die again. Oh shit. I could see down the frigid barrel of the gun Aunt Kiri was pointing. Then, she slowly pulled the trigger. I could feel a razor-sharp wind pass through my body like a knife slicing through butter. Prepared for death and hoping to see my fate until the end, I slowly opened my eyes. The world had been cut in two. Kiri was frozen in place like a statue, still pointing her gun with a cold smile on her face, and had been cut in half at an angle, the top part of her slowly sliding off to the side. No, that wasn't quite right. That wasn't right at all. It wasn't just Kiri, the whole world had been sliced in half at an angle and was slowly sliding off to one side. Then, immediately after fissures seemed to appear across the world, it shattered. What? What the hell? We have... The man is here to save the day! The Executioner. He pointed at Bird Castle with the tip of the pitch black sword that had sliced the world, glaring at her. What? <laughs> Yeah, no way. そこまでベアトリーチが憎いか。私が勝ち逃げなんて許すと思う。私に敗北の屈辱を味わわせてくれた分、たっぷりとお返しをしないとね。私、根に持つと百年は忘れないわ。I mean, you, you've got to be extremely persistent in order to hold a grudge, so... <laughs> a persistent, deprecating uh, being to actually hold a grudge for, you know, God knows how much time you spent. Leon had suddenly doubled over, groaning. Hold on a moment. I need to get some coffee, so be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. So, it reached up to the conclusion where, like, because previous past episodes, Angie was trying to find out the real truth behind all all things. But right here, it's like, oh, the, the, apparently, you know, her body, like, melted away because she could, the, when the, when the cat box was opened, <laughs> it all... It all comes down to where the truth is so hurt so much that there, there's no way it can be can be the possible outcome. And that goes the same, you know, with Leon too. But you know, apparently, Leon is going to be saved by Willard. So we'll see. Will roughly grabbed the hand that was pressed against Leon's chest and tore it away. 
Blood was seeping out from where Leon's hand had been. It was the place that the bullet would have entered if Kiri had shot Leon. When Will tried to pick Leon's body up, he finally noticed the chains attached to each wrist and ankle. リオンが血を吐いて、あまたの世界すべてに希望がないことを絶望して。Will swung his pitch black sword and destroyed the chains binding Leon. The chains and shackles shattered into little bits like glass, then vanished. The witch of the Senate? I thought you were the fucking witch of miracles. What? Witch of the Senate. It's not not like you have the fucking hierarchy when it comes to fucking politics. ベアとのファンタジーをミステリーだと断言してぶった切ってくれた。あんたの役目はそれでおしまい。おとなしく帰っていれば、それで見逃してやったのに。のこのこと戻ってきたからには、私のおもちゃにされても文句は言えないわね
全力で走るどこまでもまっすぐな方向は大事じゃないここから遠ざかることだけを意識してたまたすらにどこまでも走れ You must run for your life as, you, as if your life depends on it ルサネクレルもユルサネお前はクレル二百五十七万八千九百十七分の一の希望だろうがお前が諦めたらお前は無数の世界のお前たちを裏切るんだだからくじけるんじゃねえあがいてあがくんだよ奇跡を探すんじ
By the time Leon asked Will to repeat what he had said, he had already leapt onto the stage and was now confronting Burn Castle. It was like the climax of a show. Loud cheers erupted from the pitch black audience seating. On either side of Claire, who lay with her insides exposed, stood Will with his pitch black sword and Burn Castle with the scythe that could harvest miracles from fate. The, the Grim Reaper of Miracles. ディオンを客間に呼び出して射殺した。悪いな。そんな真実とやら。ミステリーが認めるわけにはいかねえ。こいつは全てファンタジーだ。ファンタジー。そういうことにしてリオンの運命を逃れさせるつもり。You know, the way she laughs reminds me of one of my, uh, one of my crew, one of my GBF crewmates that would make that laugh, obviously. Oh, great. Surely, Will's black sword must have cut through Burn Castle's body. However, it had no effect, like cutting the reflection of the moon on the water. キリエトルドルフが犯人だとするお前のミステリーを認めないキリエたちが犯人であることを示す手がかりはいずれのゲーム中にも存在しないあるわけないじゃないあったとしても島は丸ごと吹っ飛んだんだし It's impossible for an unprovable truth to become truth in the human world. In other words, even the actual truth cannot cross the boundary of a cat box. <laughs> With a laugh like the howl of the wild animal. Burncastle carelessly tossed her scythe aside. Now what? It is a waste of time. Kisama. <laughs> ここを<笑> Ha! 
And that cl- that concludes the tea party of episode seven. Willard Burncastle in a standoff. Oh boy. What what a fucking journey of a fucking tea party, man. How many times I recorded through like several parts worth? Hmm. I mean, I guess reading through the tale up of episode seven, it was deemed to be interesting. You know, Yasu's perspective, I suppose. Oh, I assume it's not over yet. Not over yet, shit. <laughs> All right. Trying to ignore an incredible pain in the chest, Liam kept on running and running without stopping. I dashed out of the theater of the theater-going witches, then ran through in an incomprehensible world of blacks. I mean, normally I would stop the recording from here, but I know I'm pretty sure it might take like another twenty or thirty minutes to sit through, so. Might as well conclude that. Before I knew it, I was running through a place that looked like a sea of stars. Or maybe the bottom of the ocean with stars scattered around. If I get careless for a second, I'll probably trip. No, if I get careless, I won't be able to tell if I'm running. Or just making running motions as I freefall, endlessly sinking deeper into this ocean of stars. I just kept on running without any goal or target. I mustn't stop moving. I mustn't fall down here. If I fall, I'll crush the hope of the me's and countless worlds. Actually, no, I lied. I think this is a good part to end it from here. I mean, how many parts did I record? Four, five, six. Okay, so next part. The, um,. Will be the final thing. The final ideal part. Because get it? <laughs> seven parts of episode 7 T part. Oh shit. God damn it. Anyway, next part. Let's see whether or not Leon Willard can escape out of this alive or. What? Or. They, both of them will meet to their doom. So, aside from this, hope you guys enjoy this. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Have a good one.